Good morning, everyone. I'm JDJ Sapphire. Welcome to the channel where we open up magic cards and um, build some Alpha 40 decks and old school decks. Today, we've got a package for you with a single card in it. It's going to be uh, for our Alpha 40 deck and possibly Alpha 60 Singleton deck. This is also going to be our second ASMR video. The last one, um, I felt pretty good about. I watched it a couple times reviewing it, uh, adding tags and working on the description for the channel. So, so that video hasn't gone live yet, but um, we'll see how the audience reacts to that video when it goes live in a couple days. And then this video will get uploaded shortly after that. But today we have a BGS graded Alpha Magic the Gathering card. Just a single card. Um, I picked up this card because it was absolutely beautiful condition. It was also at auction. And the card we got was a Near Mint 7 BGS Fireball from Alpha. So this card was pretty stunning. It actually had 9.5 edges, so pretty flawless edge condition. Um, it received 8.5 surface, 8.5 corners, which is also pretty good for alpha. And then um, the only imperfection was that the centering got a 6.5. You can see it's really off-centered left to right um, and a little bit top to bottom. But I'd say if we crack this out of the case, we could submit it to PSA and probably get a PSA 8 out of it. And then we have a couple copies to compare to. You've seen previously on the channel, we had a comparison between PSA 7 and a BGS 7.5. And first let's look at the two BGS copies. As you can see, um, I don't know, the centering is about the same, but this, this copy got a 7.5 centering and this copy got a seven. Um, the corners are worse on, this got 7.5 corners on the left here and they are dinged up a little bit, so that's accurate. It also got an eight surface and 8.5 edges, which is also kind of nicked up. So um, for some reason, I do think this 7.5 is in worse condition than the BGS seven. So they could have, you know, swap the grades and I'd be happy with this as having a 7.5 and this one having a seven. But uh, there's no way that the 7.5 gets a PSA seven. This is probably a PSA six. And then we compare it to, let's compare the BGS seven to the PSA seven. They look pretty similar. Uh, centering is the same. It's shifted to the right on both copies. And corners, edges, surface, all look pretty good on both of these copies. But in order to get actual inspection, we're gonna crack these out of the cases. So let's do a quick, uh, let's see, what do we want for the... Put those up there. Grab our tools. We're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna start with the BGS 7.5. Grab our cloth so that we prevent pieces from flying into our eyes today. We'll grab our pliers again. We'll, um, grab this corner where the Beckett label is. We will cover and crack down. Okay, that was a tough one but it cracked perfectly. And then we grab our screwdriver, put it in the case. lift up case comes right off there's our label 
7.5. Here's our BGS 7.5 fireball that is in the protective sleeve from Beckett. We're gonna cut that with the scissors without cutting the card. Pop it right out of the little case there. Take a look at the card itself. Um, 7.5 centering, 7.5 corners. These corners are probably worse than 7.5. This is probably a 7 corners. It does have some surface nicks. So it got an 8 surface, but it should have, this was clearly overgraded. It could have gotten a BGS 7 or 6.5 in my opinion. Let's try the PSA 7. I think this is the next condition card in the series on this video. Let's crack this one out here. Covered up, crack the corner. Perfect. Try to do it without cracking the card. We'll give it one more, one more twist here. Get that corner off for you. Just like that. Take the label out. There's our PSA 7 near mint. Seven. Then we take our screwdriver flathead, stick it in the case, give it a twist. Pop the card out so we don't crease it. Beautiful. So this PSA 7 was in great shape. Not too many surface flaws or imperfections. Corners look pretty good too. And the edges are great. So that's a solid P PSA 7. Last but not least, we're gonna compare it to the BGS 7. So let's crack this one out and then compare it to the PSA 7 and see why this one was undergraded, I think. This could be a, this could be a solid eight. Oh. There's a label, it's a silver label. Um, which means this actually could have been, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I mean the silver labels for Beckett are usually the, the, nine, the mint nines. So I feel like this could have accidentally got a near mint seven because the nine five edges 8.5 surface, 8.5 corners, could average to a 9, except for the centering with the 6.5. Um, that maybe means it can only get 0.5 higher than the lowest subgrade, which would have been 7. And then anything below 8 gets the white holders. So let me know in the comments if you think that this, this BGS 7 Fireball should have been a mint 9. Um, I will probably submit this to PSA and probably not play with this card. But we'll take it out of its protective sleeve. We'll, we'll also sleeve these up today for Alpha 40 decks. And it has a little bit of surface issue. It got 8.5 on the subgrade, but that's probably a 7 on the surface. There's a little nick on it and also a little bit of corners, but otherwise, otherwise really solid Alpha Fireball card. Um, we'll sleeve these up for you today. We'll put this one in just a clear sleeve so we remember that that is the BGS 7. And then we'll double sleeve the other two because we're going to put those in our Alpha 40. decks so we'll double sleeve these and then triple sleeve it when we put it in our deck so there's alpha fireball 7.5 here's the psa 7 fireball appreciate everybody for watching the cracking them video today uh, it's
it's been fun cracking those cards on the channel. We'll put this away over here. Give you one more look at Alpha Fireballs before we sleeve them in our decks. All right, so final review here. We have just like that. Final review for the for the viewers. BGS 7.5, which was overgraded and probably should have been a seven. PSA 7 Fireball, which um, was perfectly graded. Could have been 7.5 maybe. And then we have this BGS 7 Fireball with the silver label. Is that the newer labels that they're using for sub near mint to mint eight cards or did they mess up and should have given us a um, silver nine label? instead of a seven. Let me know, we'll save this one. We might even, as an experiment, send it to PSA and see if it gets a nine. Uh, stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you like more alpha content and graded magic card content. Um, and also ASMR videos, I think. We'll find a way to perfect those for you on the channel and maybe make a chant playlist so you can watch all those in sequence. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon.